Why do bees die after stinging? The Fascinating Science Behind Bee Stingers Greetings, Nature Enthusiasts Today we're away, delving into one of the most curious questions in the world of insects. Why do bees die after stinging? Join us on this enlightening journey as we uncover the intricate mechanisms behind this phenomenon. To understand why bees die after stinging, we must first examine the remarkable structure of their stingers. Female worker honeybees possess barbed stings that were evolutionarily designed to combat other bees and insects. These stingers, resembling harpoons under a microscope, are equipped with two rows of serrated blades. The bee's stinger is linked to a venom sac, from which a potent toxin is injected upon stinging. Interestingly, the scent of this venom serves as a signal to other bees in the hive, alerting them to a potential threat. However, the intricacies of bee stinging take a tragic turn when it encounters mammals. Due to the bee's barbed stinger structure, the stinger gets lodged in the thick skin of mammals. As the bee attempts to break free, it tears away a part of its abdomen and internal organs, resulting in its demise a few minutes after the sting. This peculiar demise is akin to bleeding to death, as bees lack conventional blood, but essentially bleed out. Contrary to common belief, experts suggest that bees are not aware of their impending fate when they sting mammals. Bees rarely use their stingers, primarily saving them for defense against severe threats. They tend to avoid stinging humans unless provoked, making their sacrifice all the more tragic. Interestingly, not all bee species meet the same fate. Queen honeybees and several other bee species, along with hornets and wasps, possess smooth stingers that allow them to sting multiple times without harm. In fact, out of approximately 20,000 bee species on Earth, around 500 species lack stingers entirely. The science of bee stinging reveals a grim fate. When a honeybee stings, its barbed stinger lodges in the victim's skin, preventing retraction. The bee's attempt to pull out the stinger leads to the rupture of its lower abdomen, leaving behind digestive material, muscles, glands, and a venom sac. This results in a gaping hole at the end of its abdomen. While the individual bee's death is unfortunate, it serves a critical role in hive defense. The scent of the released venom signals danger to the hive, acting as a warning beacon. This, in turn, helps protect the colony from potential threats. From an evolutionary perspective, the sacrifice of worker bees makes sense. Since these bees don't reproduce, their primary duty is to protect the hive and ensure the survival of their kin. This strategy guarantees the propagation of their genes through the protection of the hive. For those unfortunate enough to experience a bee sting, prompt action is crucial. Removing the stinger quickly helps limit the venom's entry into the body. Various methods, including flicking, scraping, or pinching, can be used to remove the stinger. However, allergic reactions can lead to severe complications, warranting immediate medical attention. As we conclude this exploration of the perplexing question, why do bees die after stinging? We find ourselves in awe of nature's intricate designs. The bees' selfless sacrifice for the greater good of the hive showcases the beauty and complexity of the natural world. Remember, the next time you encounter a bee, you're witnessing a delicate balance between life, death, and the survival of an entire colony. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. If you found this exploration as captivating as we did, make sure to hit that likes button, share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing insights into the that world around us. Until next time, keep buzzing with curiosity.